Asian markets rallied Friday with Japan's Nikkei hitting its 18 months closing high, climbing 1.6% due to relief over sovereign debt problems in Greece. Both Hong Kong's Hang Seng Index and China's Shanghai Composite added 1.3%. And today, Asian markets could be helped by the Eurozone bailout for Greece and the news that South Korea has ruled out North Korea involvement in the South Korean Navy vessel sinking. In company news, China Construction Bank's net profit surged 147% to 20.68 billion won for the December quarter, compared to an 8.4 billion a year earlier. The significant increase is largely due to a lending binge and improving interest margins. Net profit for 09 rose 15% to 106.76 billion won, up from 92.6 billion won the previous year. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing has applied for government permission to take a stake in its mainland China rival Semiconductor Manufacturing International. Last November, SMIC agreed to pay $200 million U.S. in cash and to issue TSMC with new shares and a, and a warrant to settle a long-running legal dispute related to TSMC's trade secrets. Zhejiang Geely Holding Group, parent of Geely Automobile, signed a deal with Ford Motor on the takeover of Sweden's Volvo cars for $1.8 billion U.S. The price, which includes a $200 million note with the remainder to be paid out in cash, is far less than the $6.45 billion Ford paid for the Swedish automaker in 1999. The sale is expected to be completed in the third quarter. Panasonic is expected to start mass-producing LCD panels in early April at its newly built plant in Japan three months ahead of schedule. This is amid rapidly growing demand for flat-screen TVs. The major electronics company, which already began trial production at the plant in western Japan, aims to raise the manufacturing capacity in July to an annualized 4.8 million panels for 32-inch TVs. For March 29th, that's your Asian Markets Overview.